welcome back everyone so these days many people are switching to custom iso like tiny 11 atlas os and the ghost specter the reason is that it runs smoother even on the low end pc and give you the best performance with the best gaming experience so today i have installed few of them like tiny 11 windows 11 ltsc and the optimum 11 on a virtual machine to check which operating system give you the best performance and occupy the less resources and i will even do the testing of some other iso like review os in the future so make sure that you hit the like subscribe as it will not cost you anything but will surely help my channel to bring more valuable videos for you so i have installed three different operating system on a virtual machine that is vmware and it's optimum 11 pro windows 11 ltsc and the tiny 11 and all these machines have the same configuration like i have given the 4 gigabyte of ram only because I want to do the testing with the low hardware configuration. Alright, so let me start with the Tiny11. Okay, so first let me bring up the system information. So that you can check that what kind of configuration each and every machine has. So here it has the processor that is my real uh, processor AMD Ryzen 7 5700G. And if I talk about the RAM, so you can see that it contains 4GB of RAM. Alright, and I have not installed any kind of application. And if I bring up the file explorer, go to this PC. So after installing the Tiny 11, 52.8 GB is free out of 63.8. So if I bring up the properties, so you can see that around 11 GB of a space is being occupied after installing Tiny 11. That is comparatively quite low as compared to regular Windows 11. Okay, and now let's move with the performance. If I right click on the desktop and even if I right click on any of the options. So they have the new context menu only not the old context menu. And if I click on the windows icon. So you can see it's a neat and clean page and if I click on all apps. And I scroll down so that I can find few of the bloatware but only few of them so you can see. It looks very neat and clean. And almost all the bloatware has been removed except uh, get started which I believe cannot be removed like this. A part of that, there are very few of the things like Windows Security, Windows Backup, Snipping Tool, Settings, which are really required for a computer. So it's good. Now if I bring up the Task Manager and go to the Performance tab. So here you can see without running any kind of application in the background, without any kind of optimization, further optimization, the utilization of the CPU is around 3 to 5 percent. The process count is around 123. The thread is around 1270 and handle count is around 50,000. Now you need to keep this in your mind because we will be testing this and compare with the other custom ISO. Same with the memory usage. The memory usage is around 52% and as I said, there is nothing running in the background. You can check here in the process. None of the applications are running. Only the system files are running in the background. Alright, so after this, let's go with another operating system that will be Windows 11 LTSC. Okay, and after installing it, you can see on the right hand corner, it says Windows 11 10 t Enterprise LTSC Insider Preview Evaluation Copy. Now here on the taskbar, you will not find too much of the application pinned. And again, if I open the file explorer, so around 52.9 gigabyte free. And if I right click on it, go to properties. So it occupies 10.3 gigabyte and that's comparatively low as compared to tiny 11 because it was occupying 11 gigabyte so that's good now if i close it and again go to the task manager and here also the context menu you will be getting the same so you can see if i right click on the desktop and even if i right click on any of the application this is the new context menu so you will not be getting the old context menu here Okay, so now if I come to the performance section, so the utilization, it's around the same, I guess, 3, 2, so it's between 2 to 5%. It is fluctuating. All right, so it's very similar to Tiny11. The process count is around 120. The thread is around 1276 or 79 or coming lesser than that. The handle count is around 48,000. Now, if I compare this CPU utilization as compared to Tiny11, I think the Windows 11 LTSC is giving you the better performance because 
the thread count, the process count, the handle count is little bit low as compared to Tiny 11. Now, if you want to go with a lighter version, not too much, then my recommendation is that you can go with the Windows 11 LTSC because it's the official edition from the Microsoft. So you will not be having any kind of question that whether it is safe or not. And even it seems lighter than the Tiny 11. All right, so now let's move with the third one. That is the Optimum 11 and my favorite. So once you install the Optimum 11 on your machine, you will find this kind of interface. They provide you different wallpaper that looks really cool. And on the taskbar, you only find the file explorer option for which the icon has been changed. And if I bring it up, it comes with a dark mode. Now before testing this, if I right click on the desktop, so they provide the old context menu. But a part of that, what else you will notice here, that they give you some additional options which are being added in the context menu. Like just make a right click on the desktop and from here only, you can access the command prompt as an administrator. You can bring up the control panel. You can kill the unresponsive task because many times it happens, few of the application or the program get stuck. So in that scenario, you can quickly click on it and it will be closing it. Then you have the restart explorer. From here only, in order to apply any kind of changes or to refresh your computer, you can restart the file explorer from here only. Then you can also go to the safe mode, which is again a very complicated job for many of the people. So from here only, you can simply make a click and you can enter in the safe mode with networking in the normal safe mode or the safe mode with command prompt. Then you also get the system properties and other basic options. Alright, now if I bring up the file explorer and here if I right click on it and go to properties, bingo. Now here you can see that they are only occupying 5.77 gigabyte. That is very low. I can say half of Tiny11 and LTSC. That is comparatively very low. And if I click on the Windows icon, so you can see they provide you different kind of option that looks very neat and clean. And this can be really amazing for the people who are a fan of Windows 7 or Windows 10. Then of course you will like this kind of interface. Okay, now if I bring up the task manager, so let's see what kind of performance it's giving. And you can again see I'm not running any kind of application. Everything is being fresh. So if I go to the performance again, boom, you can see the utilization is around three to four percent, two percent. The main thing that you have to notice here is the process count on Tiny11 and the LTSC it was around 120 or 125. Now it's around 64. The thread count also has been reduced and it's almost half 702. The handle count that was around 50,000 on Tiny11, 48,000 on LTSC. On Optimum11, it's only 27,000. So if I talk about the performance, what I can recommend you, if you really need the best performance without any kind of lagging or freezing problem, and if you are on a low end PC, then of course you can go with this Optimum 11 operating system. All right, so we have done the basic test here in order to check that what kind of performance we get. Now let's see what kind of gaming performance we get. And I will be running a Minecraft game on all the three custom ISO and see that what kind of FPS and what kind of performance they provide. So let me quickly go ahead and install the Minecraft on all the three operating system. All right, so finally I have installed the Minecraft game on all the three operating system that is LTSC, Optimum 11 and Tiny 11. So now let's see what kind of performance, what kind of FPS, what kind of average and the maximum FPS we get. And I will be first starting with the Windows 11 LTSC. And here if I start the game. Now I have not done any kind of optimization. And even I have not made any kind of changes in the settings like of the video and the graphics. So the game is a bit laggy because it's running on a virtual machine of course. And it has a very low end uh, configuration that is 4 GB of RAM. Now let's see what kind of FPS we are getting. And for that I will press the F3 key from my keyboard. So after playing the game for 1 minute around I am getting the average FPS of around 20. And the maximum FPS of 36. And this is for LTSC. So now let's come to the Tiny11, which again has the same configuration with no optimization and with no changes in the settings. And here also after playing for one minute approx, I got the average FPS of 22. 
and the maximum FPS of around 29. So if I compare between Windows 11 LTSC and the Tiny 11, again, in terms of gaming, I would recommend you to go with Windows 11 LTSC. And now let's come to the Optimum 11. And on the Optimum 11, again, we have the same configuration without any kind of changes in the settings. And the performance is little bit better. And here after spending some time on the game, I got the average FPS of around 35, 36 and the maximum FPS up to 60. And that's really a huge difference as I was getting around 30 FPS maximum in Tiny 11 and the Windows 11 LTSC and it's 60. So that makes a double uh, increase in the FPS and that really matters a lot. So now let's move with the conclusion. And if I talk about the performance, the gaming experience, of course, Optimum 11 is far better and best than other operating system. And after Optimum 11, if I talk about between uh, Tiny 11 and Windows 11 LTSC, I would of course recommend you to go with Windows 11 LTSC because it's giving the better performance and the gaming experience, more FPS as compared to Tiny 11. And as it is a official uh, version of Windows 11, so I would recommend you to go with that only. But if you really need the best performance and the gaming experience, then of course you can go with the Optimum 11. And that's all guys for today. Hopefully you found this video useful. And now you got an idea that which operating system will be giving you the better performance. And if you have any question, you can let me know in the comment section. And also do not forget to like and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.